guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a holy grail makeup video. So these are going to be all the products that I've been using forever and ever and that I swear by and I honestly cannot live without. So if you're new to makeup or if you're just getting started buying makeup and you don't know what to buy, these are some really good products. Most of them are from the drugstore, so that's great. But yeah, these are some really good products to help you get started. Some ideas and inspiration to start building your makeup collection. Yes, I hope you enjoy and find this video useful. Definitely let me know what other types of videos you want to see in the comments and thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos that I make. So if you want to see some great makeup products, then keep watching. Okay, so I think I'm going to start with um, the eyes for products first. So first thing is eyeshadow this is the Lorac Pro Palette. Looks like this. You can see, this is my favorite color here. It's called Mauve. I'm wearing it on my eyelids right now. This palette is actually everything. I bring it with me everywhere, like no matter where I go. And it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight matte shades and eight shimmery shades for a total of 16 eyeshadows. Gosh, I don't know, I just love this palette so much. Moving on, this is the Naked Basics palette. This is the original one and it comes with six sh colors. So this color was a black, but it just completely fell out of the pan, which is fat, and I didn't really use that color anyway. But this is another palette great for traveling, great for beginners. It has one shimmery shade right here, which is just like a white shimmer. Perfect shimmer for most looks, like just great. And then it comes with like a flesh color, like I always get eyeshadow all over my hands when I'm holding this palette and it's from this color. Literally, the color's not even in the pan anymore and it keeps getting like everywhere. Rude! There are like two, there's a light brown and dark brown, there's a pink and a yellow for highlighting and brightening and honestly this palette is just great. But yeah, great palette, highly recommend for beginners. So small and compact, nice, good stuff. So the next thing is a single eyeshadow and this is Stila Kitten. And this is so beautiful, like, I don't even know. Like, it is a, I'm gonna swatch it because this is a freaking amazing look. It's just like a, whoa! It's like a shimmery pink, and I normally use this on the inner corners of my eyes. This goes with so many looks, so many looks. You could do like a golden smoky eye, and honestly, like, this would work for it, like, silver. Like, it's a very neutral pink, I feel. And also, because I've been having highlight troubles, like two of my favorite highlighters broke. Rest in peace. Um, so I've been using this as a highlighter and it is popping. Let me tell you, if you use this as a highlighter, you're like, woo, you're gonna blind someone. So now I'm gonna talk about some eyeliners. So this first one is a pencil eyeliner. This is Urban Decay Perversion. Look how tiny mine is. It is so tiny. I need a new one so bad, so bad. This eyeliner is amazing, like literally waterproof, stays on forever so black, so pigmented. I highly recommend this eyeliner for a black eyeliner. Very good. And now for a liquid liner. This is pretty new to me, but honestly, I know this is going to be a holy grail forever and ever. This is a Smashbox Limitless Liquid Liner Pen. I use it on my eyes today. It is just a pen, a standard pen. It is so easy to create wings with this pen, let me tell you. Like, it's not a huge fat pen where it's just gonna take up your entire eyelid, but it's not like a flimsy pen where you don't really have any control. Like perfect amount of firmness in this pen tip to really help you get precise lines. So love this. And it lasts forever and ever. Like I sleep in this sometimes because I don't remember to take up my makeup all the time, you know, whatever, hate on me. But I sleep in this and wings are still on fleek in the morning. What should I talk about now? These two, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you probably know that I'm in love with these two mascaras. These are, This is the best combination of mascaras ever, both from the drugstore. This first one is Maybelline Lash Sensational. This is really good for a volume. You can see like the volume tip. Really good for volume, makes your lashes look so great. I have so many people ask me like, are those your real lashes? And I'm like, yeah, like what do you mean? And it's just mascara is amazing. And then this one is the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara, and this is really good for lengthening and separating. You can see this tiny little applicator brush. 
really good to get in there. I also use this mascara to blend my real lashes with fake lashes when I wear them because it can really like get in there and really like push them together. So really good mascara for fake lashes. Let's do brows now. Brows are so important, so important. And yes, ever since I really started doing my brows, I've always stuck with Anastasia products because they're amazing and I love them. So I first used like the Brow Wiz, which is a tiny little pencil great love it but then they came out with this and this is the brow definer and it is mine is like empty it's really sad but it has a angled tip and it's a lot bigger than the brow is so you can draw your brows on so fast and it's so easy because of that angled tip it really helps to create sharp lines and it comes with a spoolie on the end which I love and this is amazing I need to buy a new one so bad Smashbox Brow Tech which is what I use today. It's very similar to this, but I don't know why. I just love this one. And then what I use to set this is the NYX Brow Mascara. This is so good. You can find it at the drugstore and it is tinted brown, but I mean, there comes with other colors, obviously. It is good for bringing definition to your brow hairs. Plus this is tinted. So sometimes I don't even put a pencil like through my brows and I just put this. And this is the easiest way to fill in your brows in five seconds ever. Like literally brush this through your brows and instant fullness. Amazing. NYX Brow Mascara. Check it out. All right. So let's move on to the face. Let's start with foundations and such. These two, everything, every foundation right now I'm talking, uh, I'm talking about is from the drugstore. So sick. This first one is L'Oreal True Match. You can hear everyone rave about this. This is probably I think the best drugstore foundation there is out there so cheap and it looks so natural I'm wearing this on my face right now like it just looks like such a natural but covered coverage you know also I love the L'Oreal True Match Lumis this one will make you glow not like too much but this will bring a really nice dewy finish love these two moving on all right wow this is a very L'Oreal heavy um makeup favorites so this one is everything this is the l'oreal magic skin beautifier bb cream this stuff is amazing it goes on clear clear what do you mean it goes on white just like if you put on a moisturizer like moisturizers are white goes on white on your face when you blend it in it matches to your skin color perfectly and it is literally your skin but better like it offers a little bit of coverage but more so it just evens out your entire face and it feels like you're wearing nothing. For beginners who don't really want to wear foundation because your skin isn't bad or you just don't like the feeling of foundation on your skin, this is so good for you just for evening out your skin tone, which is really important when wearing makeup. You know, you gotta have a nice even base. It's important, just do it. Love, 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 love. Ah, my camera's gonna die. All right, let's talk about some concealers now. So my first one, this is more of a lightweight concealer. Um, this is the Garnier Skin Renew Dark Circle Roller. I've used this for so long and this is so good for days where you don't want to wear like any BB cream foundation, nothing on your face, but you need concealer under your eyes. What I do with this, I roll it under my eyes, pat it in with my finger and you're good to go. Like it just blends so nicely into your skin. You don't even need anything else down here on your forehead, like enough, no other coverage. For more of a actual concealer, um, with coverage. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I've used so many of these. This is great. Comparable to the NARS Creamy Concealer, but the NARS one has a little bit more coverage, but I mean, you would expect that with the price difference between those. But this is so affordable, great coverage, comes in so many colors. Um, yeah, this is just a, honestly great concealer. Like, doesn't crease. Literally, I've had, I've had zero problems with this concealer, and I've used it for probably like over five years and my last one is the urban decay naked skin concealer i saw people rave about this on youtube and i was like oh my god and so then i got it and it's so good this color is a little bit too light for me because i got this like in the winter last year so i need to get a new color of this but the coverage is so good it looks like skin like it just looks so flawless like nothing cakey nothing noticeable like it just covers 
and looks good. My last concealer thing is this Bare Minerals Well Rusted Concealer Powder. If you're a beginner, you need to get this. This is like a concealer like setter and a concealer in one. So if you don't want to wear anything underneath this powder, you don't have to. Like sometimes if I'm really in a rush, I'll just take my brush, slap some of this on under my eyes and honestly it brightens it up in one second. But what I usually use this with is this eye roller. So like how I said, this is a pretty light coverage. Once you set it with this, your under eyes are completely covered. You look wide awake, brand new. So really highly recommend this for beginners. Like I put it on my chin, forehead, like anywhere you want extra coverage, put this powder. All right, now let's talk about some bronzers. So obviously, holy grail, Hoola bronzer by Benefit. I, I think this was my first bronzer ever. Yeah, you can see I hit pan on that. It's a neutral brown shade. It goes well with so many skin tones and some bronzers on pale skins look orangey and some bronzers on tan skins look ashy, but this is great. This is great for everyone. It's a neutral brown and you can use this as a bronzer or like contour color, whatever you want to do. It is matte. This is just great. Like this has never disappointed me ever. Second bronzer, this is probably expensive, but this is the Chanel Silky Bronzing Powder and my packaging is absolutely whacked. Okay, excuse me, excuse me. Okay, so it looks like this. It's more of a terracotta color, so a little bit more orangey, and it does have shimmer in it. So what I use this for is like an all over bronze or like a bronzer topper. This doesn't give you like an intense bronze. Like this is really just for a beautiful sun-kissed glow, which is why I use it for pretty much all over my face or just on top of my bronzer. If I'm using the Hoola bronzer, which is matte, then I would definitely put this over it to give a little more shimmer and glow, but this stuff is awesome. I actually couldn't live without it, and I don't know what I'm gonna do when this um, like runs out because I'm not about to pay money for this. And for blush, I'm not a huge blush person at all. This blush is so versatile and so natural looking. This is a Tarte blush and Exposed, and I'm wearing it right now. I don't even know if you can see. But it's a beautiful mauve color. It's a matte blush. This formula is awesome. Tarte blushes stay on for so long. What is it, like a yeah, 12 hour blush? Definitely a 12 hour blush. If you're looking for just a blush you can wear with pretty much every look, every occasion, day to day, night out, like this is it. This is what you need in your life. Lastly, let's move on to the lips. And I have three lip liners that are holy grail and they're all by NYX. I love NYX lip liners. They're so affordable and they're so nice. So this first one is the NYX lip liner. This is the like, crayon lip liner and it's in peekaboo neutral. So it's just like a neutral mauve pink tone and this color is like your lips but better. Well, for me at least. I know this is like the color of my lips, but better. So if you have like, if you have darker, pinkier lips naturally, this color is going to be so good for you. And these next two are very similar in color, but they're a little bit different. So this one is, this one is natural. And this is a nude, but it's more of a brownie nude. So if you want to wear like a brown lipstick, a uh, brown lip gloss or just like a brownie or nude pink then this lip liner is great honestly i have worn these lip liners just line and filling in my lips with this and just put like like clear chapstick or lip gloss over top and this is like a lip color in itself so it's awesome if you don't have that many lipsticks just get yourself a lip liner and use it as a lipstick you're gonna save money and it's gonna look just as great so this next one is in the color nude and this is more of a pinky nude like this is a, it's a little bit lighter it's a this one's a little bit lighter than this natural one and I use this when I want to have pinky nude lips not like brownie nude but pinky nude these three are just such staples in my makeup collection that like I've bought these two I bought all three of these at least twice like I can't live without these because they are just such staples for pinky nudes pinks natural colored lips which are great for beginners because most people don't really like to wear out their colors on their lips, so these three natural colors are great. Highly recommend. Lastly, I don't have many holy grail like lip products. I'm just starting to get into lip products, but this one I got fairly recently, but I like this is it. This is the one for me. 
and I'm in love with it. And this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in Kristen. Oh my gosh. First of all, the formula of these are absolutely amazing, which I hope they would be because they're really expensive. But yes, this lip gloss is amazing. It is the perfect nude color, like the perfect nude. And it stays on forever. Like you can eat food, take a sip of a drink, and your lip gloss will still be just as poppin' afterwards. Like, I just can't even understand this formula. But it's so good, and I need to get more of these lip glosses because they're amazing. If you're in the market for, like, a nude lip gloss that will be, like, a staple in your collection, this is it. Kristen by Anastasia. That is all. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and found some good recommendations for makeup products. All of these, like, I swear by. Like, I cannot say a bad thing about them, like definitely the high-end ones that I mentioned, like the Anastasia Lip Gloss, Lorac Pro Palette, Tarte Blush, Chanel Bronzer, like these things are honestly worth the investment because like they are going to, like you will use them every day. So I hope you found this video useful, definitely let me know what other types of videos you want to see in the comments below, and, and yes, I will see you in my next video.